good morning children welcome to biology class today we are going to start unit 2 genetics and evolution chapter 5 principles of inheritance and variations children in this chapter we are going to study about the heredity variation genetics then mendel's experiments sex determination sex linkage and many more so let's come to heredity and variations children you know that we resemble our parents but some differences are also there so what do you think that these similarities and differences in characters between parents and offsprings or siblings they are coincidental no these characters they are received by the children from the parents and grandparents so the signs which deals with mechanism responsible for transfer of characters and similarities and dissimilarities between parents and offsprings, it is called as genetics. So let's come to heredity and variation. Heredity or inheritance means the transmission of characters from parents to offsprings generation after generation that means whatever character we inherit it comes from our parents grandparents then forefathers and all so it is described that genetic continuity of germinal material from parents to offsprings so it is with the physical and physiological characters, instincts, and even psychological features in higher men and animals. The so ancient Greeks, you knew children, that the blue-eyed parents, they have blue-eyed children. They also knew that one of the causes of variation is sexual reproduction. They exploited the naturally occurring variations in domesticated plants and animals by breeding to get the desirable characters. So, what does this genetics deal with? So, it deals with the mechanism of transmission of characters from parents to offsprings and causes of variations in closely related organisms. So, the term genetics, it was given by Bateson in 1905 and it was derived from Greek word genesis which means to grow into. So, what do we say? That genetics, it accounts both for resemblance and differences due to heredity, sources, and their development. So let's come to variation. Children, you know that we resemble our parents, but we are not identical. The characters, they come from the parents, but the identical twins, they resemble each other. So the dissimilarities among the related individuals or members of a species are called variation. Except identical twins, no one resemble each other. So clone and offspring, organisms which are produced by sexual reproduction, they are the exact copies of their parents or we can say that they are the carbon copies of their parents. They are called remits so the group of identical individuals which are produced from a single parent it is known as clone now the term offspring in heredity it is strictly used for progeny which are produced by sexual reproduction now these offspring or progeny they which are produced by asexual reproduction they might be through budding, fishing, spore formation or in plants 
rafting and layering they form a clone even identical twins they are also come under clone though they are offspring of their parents now come to blending inheritance before mendel scientists they believe that the characters they are mixed in offsprings and they produce some intermediate results now this is called blending inheritance but according to particular theory which was given by morpheus the parental characters they do not blend in the offspring they remain discrete and they repair, reappear after several generations german botanist called reuter he also explained this by experimental evidences his observations were similar to bendel but he could not able to interpret them mendelian inheritance or mendel's principles of inheritance we learn in our next class this is all for today children thank you and have a nice day